Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. Today, the man who admits he was wasted when he hit and killed a 14-year-old skateboarder learned a sentence. He got the maximum under a plea deal, but it's just a little more than four years. The victim's family says that is not justice. News 13's Lena Westervelt was at today's sentencing. Kim Mark Enriquez was a freshman at Sandia High School when Andrew Armstrong rammed into him with his car and then left him on the side of the road to die alone. 29 year old Andrew Armstrong broke down in court today as he watched a video of his victim, Mark Enriquez. He admitted he was driving drunk when he hit and killed the teen last October. I really said so that was wrong. You know, even if he came into my lane or whatever, it was wrong. So At the time of impact, Mark was riding a skateboard home for dinner. Andrew was buying methamphetamine. Mark's father begged the judge for the maximum sentence today, which is four and a half years behind bars. That's because Armstrong struck a deal with the DA. He originally faced a vehicular homicide charge, but later pled guilty to leaving the scene of a deadly accident and conspiracy. This is not justice. It is an insult to Mark's death. It is unacceptable to his family and is sending the wrong message to the public. The state reduced the charge because crucial evidence like Armstrong's blood alcohol level was at least two hours old when it was collected, and by then it showed he was not legally drunk. They also couldn't prove he was driving recklessly, and Armstrong got credit for turning himself in. Prosecutors feared a jury might not convict him on the more serious charge. Andrew is not a monster. Today, Armstrong's mother spoke on his behalf. We're all terribly sorry for the loss of this family. I can't imagine what they're going through, but I know it's horrid. A nightmare the judge says might not be solved if Armstrong hadn't stepped up. That slice of conscience that you showed the night that this happened by turning yourself in and confessing uh, should receive credit. No amount of justice will ever work. Nothing will bring my child back. Now, Armstrong received three years for leaving the scene of that deadly crash and 18 months for the conspiracy charges. Now, he will also have to pay for the victim's funeral as well as additional restitution. Kim? Okay, thanks, Selena. Now, because Andrew Armstrong has already served about a year in jail and because he's also likely to get good credit for good behavior, he could be released in about a year.